how to motivate professionals. This video deals with the psychological aspect of the leader figure, who is the person responsible for his or her team of professionals need to constantly motivate his or her collaborators. I am Jose Manuel Garcia Lomas and Alan Perkins. With this objective of finding ways to motivate professionals, we intend to find and provide immediate tools for the leader in the management and motivation of their employees. And the question is, why the motivation of the collaborator is a function that must be carried out constantly by the leader? the director, because as a leader I am responsible for the results of my organization. To achieve a good result you have to motivate, to motivate you have to know, and for all this we must apply the 11 main rules for effective motivation in communication, which we will detail below. But first, let's point out that A. Example is not enough to encourage people. B. Orders are not enough to motivate because we all act based on our objectives. C. That's why we have to know the why a person works to be able to motivate. And D. Everything that appeals to a strong motivation is positive gives the result, while what appeals to weak motivation is a waste of time is useless. This last point D is the golden rule of motivation. Let's go now to the 11 main rules for effective motivation in communication. 1. Show genuine interest. 2. Remember people's name and use them. The person's name is your favorite word. Using the name is the same as powering oil on troubled waters. 3. Ready the positive and mental attitude towards others. For those whose job it is to convince, like the leader, it is forbidden to dislike other people. 4. Be a good active listener. To convince a person you must listen and remove all negative thoughts from the interlocutor. 5. Do not interrupt others. The interrupted person thinks about what they were going to say when they were interrupted and does not listen. It also creates frustration and ill will. 6. Do not contradict openly. Do not hurt feelings. Instead of contradicting, use the if-but technique as follows. First, pause for thought. Second, neutral approval. Interesting. I understand. Thirdly, if necessary, ask open and neutral questions. How did you come to that conclusion? So far, the yes. Now, the but. Four, say, in this case, our company, or I would like to tell you that. Seven, avoid prestige discussions. Keep in mind that people sometimes argue not to solve their problem, but to try to prove that they are right. 8. Achieve participation. Seek double communication. Get feedback and get that feedback to remember the importance of the questioning technique. 9. Don't be dogmatic. Don't pontificate. Let him help him to discover the solutions himself. A personal statement has little effect. We want people to believe us, and people want to recognize self-knowledge. Believing is an act of faith. 
Recognizing implies self-knowledge, identification. Statements provoke resistance because they usually imply authority. Do not pontificate, do not dogmatize, and better try asking more. Influence more with questions and not with statements. 10. Place yourself in the situation of the other. Have empathy. 11. Summarize the 11 rules. Keep in mind the other 10 rules and consider the interests of others, especially if there are strong motivations. Now I propose an interesting exercise of self-analysis of the 11 main rules for effective motivation in communication. For this, as in previous videos, we can evaluate ourselves. Choose between 1 and 5 points for each of the 11 rules. I will give myself a 1 if I am wrong and 5 if I am almost perfect, being the high average demanding 3.5 points. In the end, we add up the scores we have given ourselves knowing that I cannot go beyond a final maximum score by adding up all the scores of 11 per 3.5 equals 38.5 points. If I go over the maximum score, I got to adjust it to 38.5. And if I don't reach that maximum score, I don't change anything because it will mean that I am an even more demanding person with myself. Take a few minutes of reflection by stopping the video for self-assessment. All points below 3.5 are points where I accept that it is not wrong, but I am need to have a place for improvement in those rules, and therefore I will take them to personal and professional improvement goals. Summary. Except in very rare cases, we do not motivate with money alone. We do not motivate permanently. And why is that? Because when you have it, you soon consider that it is little and that it should have been given to me long ago. The only motivation for money is that I don't have it. It's not the money, it is the expectation of it. Our professional expect more from us than we think. Leadership is synonymous with conviction. Modern leadership implies reaching my objectives as a leader through the objectives and interests of my team of professionals and collaborators. And okay. If you are interested in our videos, I suggest you give a like and subscribe to our channels in Spanish and in English as we publish videos every week.